Good morning, coach on a run, Friday morning. Oh my goodness, and the weeks keep on ticking by. Recently, I've been asked to share some lessons that I've learned as a serial entrepreneur. Yeah, you've heard right. Serial entrepreneur has been in business my whole life. From uh, joining a family business and helping my dad selling welding machines and equipment, uh, in a partnership, out of partnership, started my own business, uh, guest house, uh, built that out to a success, came back to Cape Town, started a business broking company, and then following on that, my current action coach, business coaching practice. So yeah, I suppose one can say, been at business my whole life. So what are some of the lessons that I've learned? And when I thought about it, the image of Joan of Arc jumped right at me. So who's Joan of Arc? Joan of Arc was a peasant girl, 19 years old, that she believed was called by God to lead the, to lead the French army in a big, uh, like serious battle against the British. This was in, in the 1400s at Orleans. And guess what? She led them to victory. This peasant girl from nowhere stood up, answered to the voice she believes she heard, and she led them to victory. So, you know, I, when I think of Joan of Arc, for me, the metaphor is you've got to become your own warrior at business. Yes, it's not going to be easy. Yes, there's going to be times when you doubt yourself. Yes, there's going to be times when there's risk. Yes, there's going to be times when you're fearful. But here's the thing, you've got to get up and you've got to lead the troops and you've got to move forward. That's the only way. So I thought I'll share some lessons that I've learned as a serial entrepreneur. And, the, and I think one of the big things for me was whenever I made some life-changing decisions in my life, I always listened to my own voice. So this was my pattern. You know, I'll, I'll declare what I want to do and then, um, yeah, so what do you think about it? You know, and I'll get all these advice. Oh, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. Oh, no. Who's going to sleep in a guest house in Kempton Park? Worst decision ever. And I'll get all these uh, um, feedback from people around me. But every time I went back into myself and I took a decision that worked for me. So I suppose the first lesson that I learned being a warrior at business, a serial entrepreneur is take advice, take counsel, ask people what do they think, but in the end, make the decision yourself. Listen to your own voice. I think another, another lesson that I'd like to share with you this morning is the importance of making decisions. You know, I think, you know, procrastination, indecision, you know, weighing up the pros and the cons, making those lists, shall I, shall I not, do I want to, don't I want to, is this the good time? Is this the right time? You know, I'm not sure. And before you know it, you've, you've literally spoke yourself or talked yourself out of whatever it is that you wanted to do. So indecision is for me a big thing. You know, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't tread in indecision. You know, make the decision. Get on with it. You'll soon enough know whether it's the right decision. Um, so yeah, uh, five, four, three, two, one, like Mel Robbins says, make the decision. You know, if it, if it turns out not to be the right decision, then guess what? You can change, uh, make another decision, do something else, you know, uh, take a different route. But you'll only know if you make the decision and, and, and then we learn from whatever happens. So yeah, um, make the decision, push yourself through that um, unknown and go forward. So yeah, some lessons learned as a serial entrepreneur. Next week, I'll, I'll share some more with you. God bless, be safe, have a fantastic Friday. And why don't you share with me some lessons that you've learned as a serial entrepreneur? Put that right under in the comment box. We'd love to get some feedback from you. Cheers for now.